Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, information, education, guidance, advice. And I made reference in uh, the previous video of the um, Jewish concept of Maris Ayin. This is a very uh, basic and fundamental concept. Maris Ayin, appearance to the eye, what appears to the eye. And what it is in halacha, in Jewish law, uh, is that if you're doing something that's completely kosher, it's, there's nothing wrong with it, but it doesn't look good, you're not supposed to do it. I'll give you a couple examples. Um, again, the prohibition is not against, obviously there's a prohibi prohibition against doing something wrong, but there's a prohibition against doing something that even looks wrong. Okay, I have a completely kosher cheese pizza. 100%. And I take some kosher, non-meat uh, soy product, pepperoni slices, and I put the pepperoni slices on the pizza, and I cook it up, and I have a 100% kosher pepperoni pizza. I don't have any meat products. It's only uh, dairy and parv and uh, things that are neither meat or milk. Uh, there's no uh, prohibition against basher chalav, the mixing of meat and milk, because the meat, the meat, is uh, these soy pepperoni things, like Eve's uh, pepperoni slices. So it looks like a regular pepperoni pizza, but it's 100% kosher. Now I'm sitting there and I'm in public, people are walking by, I'm in a park or whatever, and I'm sitting at the, the, the park bench and I'm eating a pepperoni pizza. The fact that it's a 100% kosher pizza is fine, but it doesn't look good. People are walking by and they see somebody who holds himself out to be an observant Jew eating a pepperoni pizza. And there's no indication that it's not, you know, it's not treif, it's not, not kosher. But because it doesn't look good, you're not supposed to do it. Um, I make a Thai dish um, made with uh, chicken and... Uh, coconut milk and onions and vegetables and this, things like that. It's a completely 100% kosher. But it looks like chicken in milk or chicken in cream. If, when I'm at home, I, I don't have to, there's no, there's no uh, danger of marasine, there's nobody around to see me. Um, but if I were somewhere and I made this dish, I would have to like put a can of the coconut milk or, or something to let people know that this isn't meat and milk. Um, a cheeseburger. Can't mix meat and milk. I can have a completely kosher burger. I can get par of non-dairy cheese, put it on top, and I have a kosher cheeseburger. But if someone sees me eating a, a cheeseburger, it doesn't look good. Maris Ayan, the appearance of the eye. In the previous video, we talked about a Nazir. Um, a Nazarite, someone who takes upon himself certain restrictions, even though he's done everything completely uh, fine, and after the period, let's say a year or whatever, he has to bring a korban hatas, a sin sacrifice. Why? Because it looks like he's withdrawing himself from God, he's withdrawing himself from life. It looks like he might be doing something wrong. And so appearance is important. You don't have to be doing anything actually mamish, literally wrong. But if it looks like you're doing something wrong, avoid it. I, in a previous video, I, I gave an example of someone who's in a church, for example, an observant Jew, and um, the Jew drops her purse or the guy drops his wallet in front of a statue. Uh, it's a Catholic church, a statue of Jesus, whatever. You're not allowed to bend down in front of the statue, even to pick up the wallet. You're not bowing down to the statue. Picking up your wallet, you're picking up your purse. But because it doesn't look good, it looks to someone else that you might be bowing down or kneeling down to the statue. What you're supposed to do, the way I understand it, is you kind of like kick it out of the way until you're not in front of the statue anymore, and then and then you uh, and then you pick it up. It's very, very important. Appearances are important. The eye of the beholder is something you gotta keep in mind even though you're doing nothing wrong, especially when you're doing nothing wrong. You gotta make sure that it looks 
right, especially when you're holding yourself out to be a Jew. When you're wearing, you know, a payas and a yarmulke and sitzes and uh, you're eating, it looks like you're eating a bacon double cheeseburger. Doesn't look good. Avoid it. Um, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.